Hello, my student. As you know, I'm Colin. Yeah, this is second video today. Okay. Now I would like to show you how to install Cisco STM on your XP host. This task is really easy. I don't think you you will have that much problem. However. I will show you how to do. Okay, let's just start. Okay, power one, two, genus three, louder. I will minimize this. Mm. Mm. Okay, louder is already ready. Okay, good. Window also ready. As you can see, the topology is simple. The router gateway should be 172.16.10.1 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. And my host IP address 10.10. .10. We need to set the IP address like that. Hmm, yes, it's already set. Okay, close. How about router? Let's have a look at the router. Show run. Nothing. Yeah. Post the net. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's cool. Let's start from setting IP address fast Ethernet slash zero interface. Configuration terminal conf t interface fast Ethernet slash zero IP address one seven two sixteen ten dot one C class mask enter don't forget no shot okay the interface is in up now exit let's do the ping test Ten dot ten. That one. From router to there. Yeah, works. Yeah, very nice. Ten dot one. Yeah, works. Everything's fine. Very good. Close this. Close this. Uh, I would like to start from the host first. We need to install a software. Actually, not just the one software. We need to install two. This one. Java JRE SDK 1.4 version minimum and Cisco STM software. Let's install Cisco STM first. Setup. You will have this nice window. Click next. Default setting I accept. Yeah, next. From this one, you are going to click this, not that one or this one, just that one. Okay. If you have a real Cisco router, you can do this, but we do not have. Currently, we are only we are only have GNS3 simulator, so you should not install in your router. Actually, you can do, but uh, it's a little bit hard. So. 
don't touch it for now but uh, when you become CCMP rebel then you will know some tricks so you can handle for that so for now don't touch this we will do this we are going to install STM software in your computer next you don't need to touch anything just next install don't click this because we haven't installed another software yet finish you will have one icon here right now we just install Cisco SDM we need to install another software this one Java yes next the reason why I have this one modify and remove because I already installed but in your case you probably there is another menu install then you can click that one okay but for now I will just to show you yeah click next yeah everything's next you don't need to touch anything just click next 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 default setting all good now you are ready from the host so I will minimize this for a while let's go back to our router you need to set up couple command line on your router it's really simple firstly you need to set local user ID and password do you still remember this username and uh, I will set my ID is okay just colon as usual and one very important point is uh, you need to set your ID and password as privilege rebel 15 because STM software it will require rebel 15 privilege level so colon privilege level 15 15 and uh, password I'm going to not encrypt my password so yeah, zero and my password is as usual yeah this one good one command line is done and your next command line is I allowing IP actually this command line IP HTTP server this means this router will allow HTTP connection we need this and uh, I will also allow IP HTTP secure this command line will allow HTTPS connection and when you type this as you can see this router will generate 124-bit RSA key so it's just secure now one last important command line IP HTTP authentication authenticate who login local the local user we will authenticate local user so authenticate local if you want to if you want to authenticate teller then you can specify teller or SSH like this so for now 
we only need to allow local user I just want I just create only one local user here it's a my ID and my password so username colon password yeah crazy okay your router part it's done now let's go back to our lovely XP host okay go there XP host let's start click Cisco STM it will ask you the IP address of your router 172.16.10.1 if you want to connect through HTTPS you can tick but I'm not going to do launch you also need to enable this one the ActiveX so allow blocked content yes you will have this window see level 15 so I just create here hmm, this one so ID level 15 ID colon password crazy yeah I'm not crazy okay yes however this command lines to all these settings looks like a programming one it comes from your router it's here it comes from there but you still cannot see any other windows there should be another one right I saw so many people have a problem with, with this so I figured out how to solve the one we missed one very important step and the important step is you need to go to tool here and internal option now you need to go advance there advance scroll down scroll down scroll down security area now you need to find this allow active content to learn in file on my computer this is really important part if you don't tick this you will stop with this window click this and apply okay now you need to restart click Close. Close. One seven two six nine ten one. Yeah, good. Launch. Colon. Crazy. Ooh, I'm I'm not crazy by the way. Look at that. It works. Very nice. Click yes. Fantastic, Colin, crazy. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not crazy. C R A Z Y. Yes, this is it. Now you got the Cisco Router Security Device Manager (SDM). You can set up your router through this GUI. you are ready to play with SDM you can have a look your resource state and if you set up VPN then you can see the status here and uh, from 608 subject you are going to play with this IPS but for now just have a look what kind of a function do you have this one is equally going to two. this one, your routers. You can set up this router with this GUI. Right. Thank you for watching. 
And now you are ready to do assessment. 601 assessment to and the SDM part. Uh, yeah. The previous video I just covered with the uh, AAA with a uh, command line, right? AAA setting plus radio radius and command line base. But now you are ready to use STM, so you can do this one. STM through STM, you can set up that. And this STM will be used. from so many other subjects like 608, 601, 602 so you should get used to how to run SDM okay thank you for watching and uh, I will see you at the class have a good night bye goodbye